Hi everyone, this is Brian Gundy from For Goodness Snakes and I've uh, been getting a lot of uh, emails and comments on my videos about uh, the question of how do you, how can you tell when a snake has ovulated or when a snake is ovulating. So what I thought I'd do with you guys tonight is to show you a snake that I have that is in the preliminary stages of ovulation or what I call a pre-ovulation swelling. And this is the animal and as you can see right there Coming down the snake's body, right here, you're seeing pre-ovulation swelling. In about a week or two or so, this snake will probably ovulate. Ovulation does not guarantee a clutch of viable eggs. It does pretty much guarantee a clutch of eggs, but not necessarily a clutch of viable eggs. So don't be fooled by, or give your, let your, allow yourself to be... Um, given a false sense of security when your snakes ovulate but it is a good sign that you have eggs coming and as you can see um, you can see the swelling from the back even on this animal this is a het caramel female that I actually had uh, bred um, several times with my spider het caramel so as you can see there is some swelling going on. This snake is what we call building, and it's um, she's around about 2,500 grams or so, 2,800 maybe, and uh, a big female like this could realistically have a clutch of anywhere between seven to ten eggs. So we're hoping for the best, and uh, we'll settle for anything we get at this point. So anyway, I hope this helps. As you can see, the snake is building. We're getting some swelling going on here. This snake hasn't eaten in about three weeks or maybe more. And um, so everything looks good for a, a clutch from this particular female. And again, the hope is that we get a viable clutch. So as you can see, we have a pre-ovulation swelling going on in this particular female. So if you feel, if you see this happening in your snakes, then that's all good. If um, if you're palpating the snake and there you feel, um, or you see something that looks like the snake has just eaten, but the reality of it is that the snake hasn't eaten and that area that is swollen is hard to the touch, that's all good. So I hope this helps. And as always, I hope you guys are having a great season. All right, everyone, take care. Again, this is Brian Gundy. Take care, you guys.